have already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy. We'll find out what's coming up for the present time. We'll see what's going on with the challenge. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Cancer. What we have for the recent past energy for the person that you're dealing with is the Ten of Swords. And it's with the Eight of Wands. So, the Ten of Swords is showing that it would have been a sign to be careful about where you put your trust. Now, when the Ten comes up in relation to a question as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you, or trust that a situation is stable, well, this card is a pretty clear answer, no. However, you would have needed to try to keep in mind that whenever a door closes, another door opens. You were probably being guided to a situation that was better for you. So trust yourself and trust in the universe when you get the Ten of Swords in a reading. Now it's with this Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is showing that a lot of things could have been up in the air. You probably were fr frustrated and tired of waiting, but this card, it's an indicator that you had to be patient a while longer. You may have already done all that you could could have done and decisions now they needed to be made by other people so when this card appears nothing probably seems to be moving ahead but you would have had to remember not to force things because that probably would have backfired on you if you tried to force things just know that sometimes our actions they're all in the wrist all you can do is put your best out there see where it lands and then wait so, recent past energy for the person that you're connected to, Ten of Swords, clarified by the Eight of Wands. So I'm showing that, um, wow, you, you had some trust issues with this person. Yeah, you, you might have felt like the connection was a failure. It's a flop. It's a flop and it's ruined and you felt defeated about something. And so, and so it caused you not to trust the person or the, or the connection anymore. There was some, a lot of communication coming in. Yeah, a lot of talking between you and your person. Yeah. Yeah. And things were probably, some things were probably up in the air. And some things were probably not happening fast enough. But there was a lot of communication there. Yeah, but some things were moving slow, just up in the air, and you were probably tired of waiting. Yeah, because you had some trust issues. And it was probably, you probably had a good reason to have trust issues. Something happened, you felt like the connection was a fail, it's a failure, it's a flop. You felt defeated. And... Yeah, I don't know what happened, but, um, yeah, it calls for a lot of communication. And, um, there were some things, like I said, you wanted to happen right away. But it wasn't, yeah, for res you needed it for resolution, to pick yourself back up off the ground. So you just had, you had to wait. Wait until it, something came in. Maybe it was communication, maybe it wasn't coming fast enough. But there was a lot of communication. Yeah, a lot of talk. And you felt defeated. You felt like you might have felt like it was ending. But uh, that's the recent past energy between you and your person. Now let's see what that what's coming up for the present time for this connection. Now we got this three of pentacles, and it's with the page of swords. Now the three of pentacles is a very positive card, especially. When it comes to work and career questions. Uh, but it's a good overall card in the tarot. It means that you're doing well. Three of Pentacles tells you that the people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts. They also notice the quality of work you do, even if you don't get paid for it. The three tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're on track. There's always room for improvement, but 
this would be the time when you will not need to you will not need to scrap something and then start again. Now it's with the Page of Swords, which can stand for a person in your life, and if this is the case, it does represent a uh, someone who's younger than you. Because a page, when you hear that word in the tarot, that means someone younger than you. It means youth, a student. It could mean immaturity. It does also indicate that a message is coming in. Now, in this instance, because it's a page, and he's got this huge sword in his hand, the message is probably not what you're hoping to hear. Because the page, it shows that they're trying too hard. It could feel like this person is pushing too fast. Or you might feel like they're stepping on your toes. So you're going to have to study their body language and figure out how well you do or do not accept maybe constructive criticism. Yeah, so coming up in October for you and the person you're dealing with, Three of Pentacles clarified by this Page of Swords. So, Cancer, your person, they see you as um, someone that offers a lot of teamwork. They know that you want collaboration. They find you to be very skillful. At what? I don't know. But they, yeah, they like that you're skilled at something. And it brings quality. It makes them feel like you bring quality to the connection. So... Yeah, this person, they see you in a really positive light. They appreciate all the qualities. Well, you have all the qualities that they've been looking for. Maybe love is not quite developed yet. So there's going to be a need to be patient with this person. Yeah, but um, they like a lot of things about you. They see that you, you have quality or you offer something. Because the Three of Pentacles is about offering some benefits great benefits so yeah see you in a really positive light but you see them like this page of swords um you you feel like they're on the immature side they might you might feel like or you might know that they watch you they stalk you they keep tabs on you and a lot of times they bring conflict a lot of times they want to pick a fight yeah so you you might feel like this person the person you're connected to is on the immature side but they see you with totally opposite so let's move on over and let's see what the challenge is going to be we got the seven of cups and it's with the three of swords seven of Cu cups is a card about choices it does indicate confusion and it can point to disorganization having too much going on it's about needing to narrow your focus. You're probably trying to do too much and doing most of it not really well. So when you get to Seven of Cups, you, you need to choose just a few of the important things that are on your plate and work through them one by one carefully because you can start to feel overwhelmed. Yeah, but you got to remember you can control, at least in some areas, how much you're trying to take on. Now, Seven of Cups is with the Three of Swords, which is showing the element of sorrow that's undeniable. But what's on the other side of the sorrow, it can be, it can be enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to fully experience any sadness that comes up so that you can move past it. This card, it can point to maybe a very deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you deny any pain, it won't make it go away. So, like I said, allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up, but don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in sadness for long periods of time. But you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough, and others, they can't do it for you. So, that's a little bit about the Three of Swords. Now, the Challenge Seven of Cups, clarified by the Three of Swords. So, Cancer, it looks like um, the person that you're connected to, they, you know that they keep their options open. Because that's what it's showing here with the Seven of Cups. Yeah. You might feel like they don't take the connection serious. Because they keep the door open. They've got other choices. And it looks like you know it. 
You know it because it's with the Three of Swords here. You're you're afraid of or yeah, you're afraid of getting hurt by this this connection, this person. Yeah, you you think that this connection can bring you bring you down. Yeah, so you might start to close yourself off. You might start to shut this person out. You could even sever, you might even sever ties with this person. Yeah, you, you worry that, because you know they have options and they, they keep the door open. And it's not just about you and them, but they, they, it's showing that they have, they have others. So... You know this that this um does make you feel rejected a lot. Cause look how you look how those swords are stabbed into that heart. Oh, it looks really painful. So yeah, you you might close yourself off or try to. Yeah, cause you don't really want to be hurt, and who does? Yeah, you see them on the immature side. Things they do a lot of time causes conflict. And you know they have options. And yeah, you know this could this does make you feel rejected a lot. Yeah, I'm looking at those swords. Yeah, so there's some pain here. Now, that's a challenge. Let's move on over. Yeah, let's see what the outcome is. We got the Four of Wands and with the Hermit card. Now, the Four of Wands is beautiful. I don't know if you can see this picture. You probably can't. My setup is not that great right now, but it's going to get better. So, just hang in there with me, guys. Yeah, this Four of Wands is, is two people. Yeah, they're looking into each other's eyes. And you should see how their face is just beaming. And if their smiles are just glowing. And it's just a beautiful card. The way they're just looking at each other. With such joy. Four of Wands, it indicates you could be attending a special event. It'll be way more fun than you're anticipating. Go, you'll have a great time. Business, if you have one, it's going well. If it's not going well now, it will be soon. And you'll be feeling really proud of yourself. And others will be proud of you also. So this is a very positive card in a reading. But it does show that you need to keep your wits about you. Maybe you should treat yourself to some fun. Just know you're still in the building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. Also, when you get the Four of Wands, it does mean that you might be thinking about moving, moving your place of residence. So, Four of Wands is with this Hermit card. Now, the Hermit card, it can be a spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the Strength card, though. You could be in the frame of mind where you just want to be alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is also a card about trying to do very hard the right thing, but you got to make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So the outcome, four of wands clarified by this hermit card. So, Cancer, I'm showing that because you know about this person, yeah, nothing is, it's not hidden from you that they, like I said, they, they have other options. Um, but they, you're the type of person that they, they see in a really positive light. Um, you don't want this heartbreak though, and you know that's, that what, that's what can happen. Because they have so many other choices. And they keep the door open. You, you're the type that want a committed relationship. For most of you cancers. 
because we got this four of wands the four of wands when it when it's about relationships it's all about marriage commitment something long term four of wands is the marriage and commitment card when it comes to love questions so that's what you you're looking for something more you're looking for someone that um, takes a connection more serious. You're looking for, yeah, you're looking for commitment. Or someone who's thinking on that level. And you feel like your person is not taking it that serious. So it looks like you might just take some time. To clear your mind and get rid of some baggage that you feel you're carrying about this person or the connection. Yeah, so this might help. Even if it's just a five minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. Yeah, that's what this hermit card does. It's showing that, uh, yeah, it will be the time for you to do so. Spend some time alone. That way you can get your thinking on get your thinking back on track yeah because a lot of times when you're involved with someone you're so focused on what's going on in the connection or trying to figure out what's going on with that person but when you get when you start taking time alone then you get in a clarity and things come to light and you can see the picture clear so yeah if you're not thinking about spending time alone that's probably what you should do it's going to clear your mind and you'll get some inner clarity and things will come to light. Yeah, so you, you're looking for something more committed. Yeah, and you just, you just don't want this heartbreak. It looks painful. Because you know that your person keeps the door open. Yeah, and at one point you felt defeated. You didn't trust them anymore. You didn't trust the connection. And I'm picking up a lot of it had to do with all these options. But I guess the good thing is that they see you in a positive light. They like that you offer a lot to the connection. You bring a lot to the connection. So for now, that's what we have. So, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings. They do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below for, for the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. I'll also put a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. Cancer, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are safe and doing well. During this crazy virus season, just hang in there. It will pass. And we will all get through this. So stay strong. Think positive. Please come back and check out the next Cancer reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Cancers, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you at the next reading. And I hope that you have a great day. Take care.